I am now going to cover the topic of how to search and to play back a recording as we've, we've recorded it onto our DVR. On this particular um, video, we're, as per the other ones in the series, we're using the 8-way DVR, but basically it covers the functionality and the menus you'll see regardless of whether it's the 4, the 8 or the 16-way. So we're going to do this point here, so I'm just going to come around in front of the desk and I'm just going to show how we go in and we will pull up past recordings. So I just right click to bring up the main menu. What I'll do here is I'll simply come down to search. So there's three tabs inside the search. So the first one I'm going to uh, just mention here is the uh, uh, record search. And this is the one that I use most frequently. Basically, we'll say uh, if I come along here and I did a search on this thing here, it will tell me for the month of November, uh, if there had to be record on 20 separate days, We'd have 20 of these here, and then if we click on each day, it'll tell us the recording records we have that. So if we clicked on the first, there'd be no recording there. If we clicked on the second, we can see there is recordings here. It's marked the second, and we'll see there's only two half hour blocks in which we record it. We'll remember when we're doing the recordings, it's, uh, we were choosing how, whether to record or not in one hour blocks, but when we go to play back, we can segment it further into uh, 30 minute blocks, which you'll see here, okay? So I came along here and I said to myself, well, I want to play back a recording from this particular point in time. If I come in here, we'll say, I'll actually go for this one here. We could say to us, which of the cameras do you want to play back on? Well, in reality, I only have one camera connected here, but I'll come along and I'll say, actually, I'm only interested in two particular cameras. This particular incident, we'll say, outside our building and we just wanted to see what it was. I can click on play here now. What I'll do is it'll bring it up here in terms of the, the time frame, okay? So we can choose then to come along and we can choose to go faster here. So we're going at two times, four times, eight times, 16 um, times the speed. And if we go further down again, we can actually grab this tab here and pull ourselves forward much further down along the recordings and then just continue to play. If we can see here that it's played. If we actually saw something you were quite interested in, we could hit the pause button and to actually maximize them, we could click on that particular uh, screen that we're after seeing. We'll say we had four of them up and it's one in particular that's of interest to us, okay? So when we want to get out of here, we can simply hit the exit button and to bring us back into this menu here, okay? We're gonna exit there again and back out. We can also come along and go for an event search. So we come along and we can specify a particular time. So what we could do here is we could say, I'll just do it from the first one here, sorry. Uh, we'll say from 15.30 uh, uh, all the way up to, um, we'll say 16.30, uh, th uh, okay? And uh, I'll just hit return here. And we can do it on all channels. And the type that we're looking for is were there any alarms during that time or were there any uh, normal? So we'll just do normal here to see if there's any recordings. And what we can do here is we can actually just search and it'll just start giving us blocks here of time, all the rest of it. And we can see the segment, the period time, and we can also see the block side here. And we can choose here, I'm going to cover this at a later point, but the actual backup of how we'd extract and save that information. But we could click on that and that'll just be uh, choosing what we do. And if we come along then and look at the actual log, or sorry, if we could just, uh, we can forward on like this, or we can go to the very end, or we can move back through it as well, okay? So you can just use those things for it. Uh, and we can inverse it here just to have it uh, listed in the opposite direction. And when we come to the logs here again, we can uh, list a certain uh, start time, uh, basically a date to another thing. And then once again, we can do a search by whatever type we want to do. Um, so by alarm, by whatever like this, and uh, by recordings here again, we can just come along and we can search it. And it'll give us a list again. And we can just work through it here, playback, um, manual record, all the rest of it, stop. So these were all the things we were doing as we were experimenting and getting ready for this video. So it's pretty, um, pretty user friendly. It's click, click, off we go. Um, so in, in terms of the recording thing, we're just trying to break it down into three sort of segmented videos that are applicable across the range. Basically recording, Next, we, and in this video, we're covering search and um, how to play back recordings. And in the next one, we're just going to cover the whole topic of how to extract a recording from your DVR, if you find one, onto a USB, for instance, and how you'd be able to play back that at a later point. So that's it. Anyway, an overview of how to search and play back recordings.